Red Tornado is my favorite DC Comics character. Red Tornado used to be this character called Olthoon, who was an air elemental who could create illusions that were indistinguishable from reality, which is a really cool power that I wish Red Tornado actually used uh, in the modern day. Red Tornado, a few days ago, hadn't appeared in the DC Death Metal event. I was talking to my friend Ryan about it, and I made a script uh, where essentially I was like, okay, how would Red Tornado be able to resolve DC Death Metal by himself? How would he defeat a crazed god who was trying to destroy the multiverse? So I wrote the script uh, using an XB, an XB being a character based off of like a copyrighted character, but with all of the copyrights and trademark based aspects of the character removed, so you're actually able to use them in a story. Um, I wrote the script and I wasn't sure if I was actually going to make the script or not. I was actually thinking about moving on to a new project. You know, sometimes that happens. You'll write the script out, but you don't actually want to like draw the book. Well, today um, I saw that a new issue of Death Metal was out and your boy Red Tornado actually showed up and I was really surprised. Um, but Red Tornado showed up to die. Uh, so a, and a dark multiverse version of Batman, known as the Robin King, hits Red Tornado with this thing called Mortal Coil, which essentially turns Red Tornado into a human being, and Red Tornado's own tornado kind of rips him apart until he's just a bloody pulp. So I wanted Red Tornado to show up in Death Metal, and then when he did show up in Death Metal, uh, he just ends up dying. Not even against, like, the main villain. Against, like, a side villain. Um, and that kind of sucks. Red Tornado has not really been in a lot recently. And when he finally gets center stage, he takes, like, a hard L. So I went from thinking to myself, hmm, you know, um, I guess it's a good thing that I didn't, you know, publish my book uh, that essentially was like Red Tornado solves DC death metal by himself uh, because in real death metal that clearly doesn't happen because he gets killed by Robin King. But then I was like, hold on, but that's not what I would have done if I had written the story. And I kind of already did write my version of what would I want Red Tornado to do during death metal, you know? Sure, this is what's canon. Red Tornado dies in canon. This is like the death of my favorite character. But since my favorite character is dead, if anything, I think it's more important that I put my book out there. So I did. Uh, today, after work, I drew the whole book. Normally, I don't sit down and draw a whole comic like in a single day, uh, but I did. So it's an eight page, 16 panel comic. Um, it's called Multiverse of Illusions. I've already submitted it for publishing. Uh, this is uh, the cover art, though I will say the actual cover doesn't show all of the artwork. I decided to go in with like a zoomed in cover, um, but I'm pretty excited about it. If you guys are excited about it, definitely make sure you check out uh, the links in the description. I'll make sure to link to all the books that I've published recently. Um, and you should be able to find this book once it's out. It's currently in review. Uh, but once it is published, you should be able to find it by clicking on that link in the description.